Hi, <clears throat> my name is Pete Gerlach. I have been a professional psychotherapist for 33 years. Um, over half that time I've specialized in learning um, how to assess and help people who are survivors of early childhood trauma, abandonment, abuse, and neglect. In this video, I want to continue offering you what I've learned across these many years. And in this case, I want to offer you an opinion about a condition that is widely reported and diagnosed called bipolar disorder, sometimes known as manic depression. Has anyone ever said, uh, you've got, you're bipolar? Or do you know someone who thinks they have or has been told they're manic depressive. I want to offer you um, clarification on what that means, what causes it, and what can be done about it. Um, mania, uh, psychobabble type term, mania is uh, a description of a, an emotional mental state which is characterized by fast thinking, jumbled thinking, high sense of alertness, physical activity, uh, irritability, optimism, enthusiasm. Um, there are some other traits, but that's the theme, that you have high energy, high mental activity, um, you're manic, or you have mania. That's a, an emotional and a, a mental state. The opposite of that state can be called depression. And as I'm sure you know, depression commonly is characterized by feeling sluggish and apathetic and gloomy and sad and low energy, maybe having trouble sleeping, disinterest in eating, uh, sometimes in the extreme feeling suicidal. Um, people commonly say, oh, he or she is depressed. When a teen or an adult uh, goes from uh, a depressive state to a manic state relatively quickly uh, over time when they do that occasionally or even frequently. If the shift in mood is, quote, significant, uh, that can be diagnosed by med mental health professionals and by lay people as bipolar disorder. It's a, one of many types of so-called mood disorders. The common psychiatric treatment for bipolar disorder, once it is diagnosed, is with mood-altering drugs like lithium. It's a proven fact that for many people, taking lithium does even out their moods. This is true for a number of different disorders. So the traditional medical slash psychiatric uh, treatment for bipolar disorder is medicine. I propose that's a mistake. Let me try and explain why. One of the things that I have found and a number of other researchers besides me have found um, is that people who survive major trauma in their early years, age zero through six roughly, if they experience consistent or significant adult neglect, abandonment, and abuse, alias trauma, such children develop disorganized personalities. Um, one way of looking at that is your personality is just like a sports team or an orchestra. It's composed of talented members. In my case, I call them subcells. Uh, each one has a specialty. So you are not one person. You are a group of specialists who all act in different ways together in different circumstances. Notice how you feel about that idea. Um, one implication of this is people who are split personalities within limits are not crazy, they're not pathological, they're normal survivors of childhood 
trauma. Notice how that idea sits with you. So what? Here's what. Because personality subcells are wonderfully varied, each one brings a unique characteristic. Um, there's a group of subcells that can be called uh, inner children, plural. They're marvelously reactive. They're very emotional. Uh, they're focused on themselves. They don't have a long-range view. They're very naive. They don't know much about the world. And they react very quickly. They go from inactive to active in a heartbeat, depending on what's going on inside your mind and your body and or outside your body. So you've got inner children. Another group of subcells are called guardians who take care of the inner children. And a third group is called managers. One of the manager subcells that, in my opinion, after over 20 years of studying this phenomenon, every single person that I've ever met, numbering in the hundreds, has a manager subself called the true self. She or he has got the unique talent of leadership. Think of the best leader that you've ever experienced in a group, school, military, college, social, church, wherever. An instinctive good leader is resident in each one of us. The problem happens when the inner children or the guardians don't trust the inner true self and they take us over. One thing that can happen uh, occasionally or frequently is when somebody, one of our subselves, feels scared or uneasy or hurt or angry or lost or confused, <clears throat> they can go from quiet to active. When that happens, they take over or dominate our true self, and what we feel and think and perceive is as this sub-self who's just taken us over, which might be an excited inner child. When such a sub-self with a lot of energy and optimism and only a very narrow view and excitement um, and seeking thrills, when that type of sub-self takes us over, guess what? We have the same thoughts and feelings that that sub-self brings us and we feel manic. That may go along for five minutes or 14 hours or a week and a half. We may have, there are other subselves that contribute, uh, but what I'm trying to say here is one or several subselves who bring us high energy, high activity, high optimism, high sensitivity, high reactivity, they take us over and cause manic thoughts, moods, and feelings. They affect our body, our heart rate, our sweat glands, um, our sleep, our digestion, it's very powerful. Then conditions within us and outside of us change. And if the original cause for excitement or optimism or high energy go away, if something changes, a different set of subcells go from quiet to active, and they bring entirely different characteristics. They take over our true self. Our true self is disabled, and they bring to us feelings of apathy and sadness and gloom and pessimism. They can affect our eating, our appetite, our sleep. So summarily, we have many normal survivors of childhood trauma have, globally speaking, two groups of subcells, an excited group and a depressed group. When they flip back and forth, depending on the world changing and evolving, that changes our mood from manic to depressed. Notice the implication. Um, people who go through this are not mentally ill. They are wounded. They are psychologically wounded and have these subselves that do not trust the, in, the uh, resident true self. Medicating this condition, this mood shifting back and forth, is not going to heal 
the fact that these sub-selves interact and don't trust the true self. Bottom line, medication may ameliorate, may ease the symptoms. The mood shifts may become much less marked and much less problematic personally and socially. So medications do work, but they do not cure the, main, the underlying real problem. Uh, you probably say, well, is there any hope? If I'm bipolar, what can I do? As a veteran therapist who has worked with many people with various mood disorders, including borderline, um, which is very similar to this, there is a way that you can find more stability chronically in your life without medication. It's a process called internal family systems therapy. I'm not going to describe it here. I've done so in other videos, and I do so in my nonprofit self-improvement lesson uh, website called sfhelp.org. Just a thumbnail. What you can learn to do, if you accept the idea that as a normal person, you have all these sub-self. Frequently, people have between 15 and 30 active and inactive sub-selves. <clears throat> if you try that idea out with an open mind, and you say, I think I'm going to get to know who my sub-selves are, and you dig a little deeper, and you can identify the sub-selves that, that give you the manic uh, condition, and also the sub-selves that can give you the depressed condition. You can negotiate, believe it or not, you can talk with, have dialogues with, and negotiate with all your sub-selves, and over time, you can get them to trust your true self. When that happens, typically what people report, and I've witnessed this hundreds of times, what people report is their manic episodes go down in frequency and intensity, their depressive states go down uh, in, in frequency and uh, intensity, and they even out. They have a zone of calmness, serenity, um, at, uh, being awake, alert, alive, aware, but there is not this tremendous shift in moods and thinking patterns. That gives a much more calm, direct way of living and behaving, which reduces other people's uncertainty and anxiety about, whoa, is Juanita going to be up today or is she going to be in one of, the, one of the pits again? Well, how's she going to be? Um, you feel calmer and better, and so do the people around you. This may sound like science fiction to you. It starts with beginning to acknowledge that you have personality subcells, and you are not, underlined not, crazy. So, if this is a new concept for you, being skeptical or cynical is a normal subself reaction. That's one of your guardians, the cynic doubter. I invite you to take a look at one of two things. Um, either my playlist on YouTube here, my playlist 1B Bravo or 1C Charlie. <clears throat> Those contain a group of videos, they're all related, and they will explain the concept of personality subcells, where they come from, what are they like, what do they want, what do they mean, and it will get you ready to learn how to negotiate and change your personality subselves and get them to chronically trust the wisdom of your true self. So playlists, playlists B and C, and to get the real story, much more information than these videos. Go to my nonprofit website. There are no ads. I'm not selling anything except knowledge and awareness. SFHELP.org. That is seven sequential self improvement lessons. The first lesson goes into great detail on exactly what I have been telling you in this summary video. So, bottom line. If you have been diagnosed as manic depressive or having bipolar affective disorder, 
or if you know somebody who has been diagnosed with this. And if you and or they have been told, take this medication, that's the answer. My encouragement here is to try the medication if you need to even out, but don't assume that's going to cure the problem because it probably won't. Try lesson one in my website. Get to know your personality subselves. They're amazing. So is your true self. He or she is amazing. Get to know yourself and you'll find the mood swings of all types mellow out to the point where you feel relatively stable almost all the time. Would you like that? Give it a try. As always, if you have any comments or questions or constructive feedback about this video or any other video or my website, I would welcome hearing from you. Meanwhile, I'm grateful that you took the time to listen to these ideas. Thanks very much.